Welcome back to Excel H2, everybody. Today we will be going over two dynamic functions, the dynamic function randarray and the dynamic function sequence. Now let's get into it. Randarray is a function which allows you to create an array of random numbers, decimals, or integers in any number of columns or rows. I use this function myself in many videos when making up random numbers for many random tables. So for example, I would type in equals randarray, I'd open up that bracket and I would choose the size of my array by specifying the rows and columns. Let's make it go down 20 rows and go across 15 columns. The minimum number I'd want it to generate is zero and the maximum number, let's say is 1000. And then I get to choose whether it's an integer or a decimal, let's choose integer for now. Close off that bracket and there's our array 20 by 15 with just a bunch of random numbers. If I went back into here, and changed my true to false, I would now get a random array with a bunch of decimals instead. Now, since this is a dynamic function, make sure the size of the array you choose doesn't disrupt any other cells. So for example, if I had a number in cell P9 here, it's gonna give you the spill error. So make sure the area is completely clear where the dynamic function is going to work across. Now, when you also type in any other cell or update this Excel sheet at all, all of these random numbers will change. So if I put a five in X6, all of the random numbers change like that. If you wanna generate random numbers and then keep them afterwards, I suggest you highlight the whole thing, copy it, and then go to the cell where you wanna paste it, and then go up here and paste, and then do paste by values. This will take out the function that you typed in and just paste all the values. So the function in the H2 cell is gone, and then when I type in say six here, it doesn't update at all. And it just works like that, it works great. So now I'll take that off and then I'll just delete everything we have here so far. And now I'll show you two similar ones of the rand array function before we get into sequence and it's called just the equals rand. And it just generates you a random number. That's all it does. It's just the equals rand function. Now you can also do the equals rand between function, which is a step farther than the rand function in which it's just a random number in one cell, but you get to choose the lowest and the highest you want it to be. So zero and 10, there we go, it generates me a three. The rand array function is the more prestigious function out of these three, but it's good to know what the rand and rand between do just in case. Now let's get on to sequence. Sequence, similar to rand array, it generates arrays for you, except with sequence, you can choose the increment between numbers and create said sequence. So for example, I would type in sequence here, open up that bracket, and once again, you get to choose the amount of rows and columns you wanna start. This time, let's go 20 rows, but with only two columns. Start a number, let's start at zero, and I want it to step by 17.5 each time. I'll close off that bracket, and then I'll get an array in my given columns and rows, and it's going up by 17.5 every time, all the way to 68.25. And since, although it's a dynamic array, since it is incremented by 17.5 every time, it doesn't randomly update when you update something else in your sheet like that, because it's set in the function how it's going to update. However, you can change that step part in the function to say a random ran between. I could go ran between and then I could pick zero and 100 and it's just going to pick a random increment for me like that. So right now it's picking a random increment 57. If I update somewhere else in my cell, it's going to change that number to now 72. So there's a lot of functions that can go into the sequence to have your increment differ. However, overall, that's how the sequence function works. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and comment down below if there's anything else you would like to see in the future.